G. <laughs> Welcome to the channel, guys. Welcome to a tech live chat that we are finally getting live. I have tried everything that I know in the book. Nothing was working. Apparently, YouTube was having some of the craziest, craziest stuff I've ever dealt with. But that's neither here nor there. We are here. We are live. We are ready to rock and roll. I'm super pumped to be talking about tonight's topic about the Canon EOS RP that's supposed to be dropping in just three days and how that's going to match up to the Canon M50 because it's already kind of like a dumbed down camera compared to the Canon R EOS R that came out just a few months ago. And so I'm curious to see how this is going to work compared to the M50 because if for just a couple hundred dollars more, especially like once you get past that 60 to 90 day mark of a camera being released, you get into uh, some better um, pricing as far as like first generation or gently used stuff, people that just barely missed the return date for, and they find out the camera's not for them. And that's how you catch those steals and deals. So up front, that's my secret of how I get stuff is how I got this brand new Canon M50 for $550 not even 90 days after it was released and the whole entire creator kit. So <laughs> that's what the way and the mindset that I'm looking at this, especially like if you're a nonprofit, a YouTube online content creator, entrepreneur, um, or something like that, you just kind of getting into maybe photography or videography or whatever, how does this camera stack up to the M50? And so uh, if you are watching this live or on the replay, thank you for being here. And if you were on the previous stream where we kept having all the issues, thanks for coming back and checking out the content. If I missed you during the live stream or any questions that you have, make sure you leave those comments down below. I'm very good at getting back to the community members. We have Ricky Masters uh, here in the chat. Welcome, welcome, welcome. I'm going to get to your question in just a minute. I want to get through the content first, and then I'm going to get to the questions. So I promise I won't forget. I never do. <laughs> and so at least I have a good track record with that. And so it's few, few updates when it comes to the uh, M50 RP and all that. Like we've seen all that the M50 can do. Literally just finished the EOS M50 series here on the channel for video and content creators. And I know that I'm like shocked. Like I know that I'm just like blown away at how much I'm able to draw out of this camera. So knowing how many hiccups uh, and things that they like purposefully left out of the M50, are they going to do that to this EOS RP? Is it going to be worth the extra couple hundred dollars that, you know, they're probably going to ask for it versus the M50? And are the features even going to be good enough compared to what we would traditionally see out of, you know, just the basic M50 or basic model camera. So I did pull some specs down from canonrumors.com. You can also go to canonwatch, W-A-T-C-H.com. And so that's where I'm getting the rumors from, specifically from canonrumors.com. Uh, and so uh, I want to go through that really quickly, and then we'll jump to any questions, comments that you guys have. Uh, when it comes to this particular content. So um, we have this Canon RP that's supposed to be dropping in about three days. Three days we'll know for certain if these specifications are pretty spot on. They're usually pretty good about it at the closer that we get to like the release date of something. And then we'll be able to see, you know, what else is missing or what's not there. And I'll kind of touch on that in just a minute. So we have the Canon EOS RP. Uh, I'm not going to get like too techy into that because I don't, think it matters when it's just rumors. Uh, we know it's going to be dual pixel autofocus. We know it's going to be the latest sensor. Uh, that five frames per second, you know, as far as photos are concerned, it's not a big deal. That's what the M50 can do. And it's really not a lot. So I was just playing around like, you know, how he's like, yeah, work it, work it, photo shoot, kind of play around stuff. I was doing that at church. It didn't even like, it couldn't even hang with that. So, <laughs> you know, it's like, don't expect much as far as that's concerned. Um, um, ISO performance, hopefully it's going to be better than what they did with the M50 because you're having to use a better lens, a speed booster, kind of make these adaptations to the camera to make it perform better. But with the EOS RP, hopefully we don't have that. And with the lenses that Canon released, which is pretty much 
camera lenses a little bit less than like cinema lenses. You got like cinema lenses is the best of the best. And then you have like their L series glass and it's like a step underneath that. So that's the kind of stuff they've been releasing, which is why you see that stuff so expensive and why I'm just like not touching it. I'm not interested. So you have that fully articulating screen like we're used to on the M50, which is really cool. But there's a lot of things that are missing. But something that uh, is really confusing is it's saying it's going to be uh, 440 grams. So let me unplug this one second, guys. There we go. All right. <laughs> so they're saying it's going to be 440 grams. This is just a little bit. Well, actually, I think when they probably add the battery memory card and all that it's pretty much going to weigh the same as an m50 would which is really shocking and like they're questioning is this really a full frame camera is it really all plastic or like what's going on with this so that's the the, the curious thing like you sure this isn't like the m5 m6 upgrade and something else but we got pictures and we're gonna go through some pictures in just a minute uh, and then like it has the kit lens, this 24 to 105 L series, F4 L series lens, which is image, stabili image stabilized, which you'll see this IS here. So again, it's like one of their fancy pantsy lenses, but it comes in the kit. And they're saying that this price of this lens is probably, I'm messing around with this photo. <laughs> they're saying that this is probably going to be about $1,300, 13 to $1,500, probably like closer to 1300 which again, Take into consideration, once those prices drop, you know, 60 to 90 days after it comes out, people that just missed their warrant, a well, return date at stores, the 30 day return date, you know, whether Amazon or whatever, you'll start to see those basically brand new cameras come up in the used market that you can pick up. That's what I'm ideally looking at. So let's look at a couple pictures and I'll hop over to the chat. So this is what we're talking about, uh, this camera here. So this, this where it says Canonet, it's going to be like, it's not going to be as big of a hump. So it is going to be a full frame camera. And then they're saying that it's going to have a flip out screen, which is really cool. And then, you know, it'll have this 24 to 105. Again, you, anytime you see that red ring, it, it's a fancy pantsy lens. That's, that's what that means. It's a fancy pantsy lens. <laughs> uh, so that'll be cool as a kit lens. Also down here, you'll see the regular dial or whatever that let me reduce this a little bit here all right so anytime you see that little dial that's basically like nobody's complaining about that because um, Dave Altizer at Kino Tika was actually complaining that his screen top screen broke on his Canon EOS R so you know it's like what do you do <laughs> what do you do um, so I'm not mad about that. I don't think anybody else will be too on top of another little dial there. So more buttons, essentially. Uh, last image here before we hop over into the chat to so make sure you have any questions about the M50 or the R. And then I'll jump into some concerns that I'm having with this uh, in just a second. Um, and just, a, again, nothing that we aren't kind of already familiar with uh, when it comes to these these Canon cameras. Um, nothing that nobody's really going to complain about anyway it miss is missing the touch bar quote unquote missing the touch bar nobody's complained about that everybody didn't like it anyway so that's where we are the Canon EOS RP so that's what we know about it thus far and it does leave some things to be desired that will have a headphone jack you know when you put other lenses on it will it still work right or will they crop it again will it have a crop in 4k Will the 4K even have autofocus? A lot of unanswered questions when it comes to this camera, but it just might be light enough, just might be cheap enough that it could beat out the M50 for a lot of beginning online content creators and stuff like that. So I'll be curious to see how, how well it works out and things like that. So let's jump into these questions. So Ricky, you saying just curious, uh, you said just curious on the price of the M50 and if you think it would be good enough for art photography mm, if you're saying like so I am a video person primarily I think that any camera ideally can be good for photography because 
it's more or less the lenses that make the bigger difference. And Canon has uh, a legacy of lenses that will work. Any ones that worked on their DSLR or the bigger cameras will work. So it's not necessarily the camera body itself when it comes to photography, in my opinion, that makes the difference. Because I pull beautiful images out of the M50 with just a little cheap 35 millimeter lens. Um, so I think for like, if you're just taking simple shots or whatever, landscape, you know, art, exhibit work or anything like that, I think it'll do fine. I, I just think it's a matter of, uh, do, does video matter to you at all? And you can definitely let me know in the comments, you know, if video matters to you at all, then that's something to take into consideration. If, uh, if it doesn't, and it's just for photos, I think it's important to probably price your lenses. What lenses do you want? Would you want something like a zoom lens with a prime lens that's like an 85 millimeter lens probably work best for you? Those are the kind of questions I would probably look forward to considering uh, when it comes to photography. So that kind of a stuff. I think it has all the right buttons though. Like if we look back at this top dial, I like that you'll have... Uh, something let me get this chat box out the way here i like that you'll have a, a, a top dial that you can manually manually adjust that because that clicking the button stuff that the r had and all of that is too it was getting too digital in my opinion the eos r's downfall was like it gets good to a point to where i don't want everything to be like touch screen ish like i still want some manual stuff that i can just almost without thinking and just resorting to muscle memory can change stuff so when it comes to like photos, especially like uh, like I've done work, photography work at my church and you're in the moment, you don't know what the scenario is going to be or like the Christmas program that I did this last year was something that it was, you know, like different for me. So um, I didn't know they were cutting the lights off on certain parts. And so they cut the lights off and it's like, crap, change the settings. But I have enough manual stuff. And the few things I need to change on the screen is easily accessible. So I think photography is an easy uh, task to tackle, easy enough to take into consideration uh, what you want to do. So I think it'd be cool. So hopefully that helps you out. Rob Fuzz just met you earlier today. Welcome to the community. Glad that you are here. Good to see you. Richard Jackson. Good to see you. My friend says no joystick and battery is the same as the M50. Correction, my good sir. So they're talking about that the M EOS R P this new camera rumored camera supposed to be dropping Valentine's day. I don't know how much love it's going to get, but <laughs> they're saying it's supposed to be the same battery that LPE 17 is actually the battery that was in the M six, the M I don't know what was in the M five cause I never tried that one, but it was for sure in the M six. And for sure in the M3, because I own both of those cameras, the LPE 12 is what the M50 takes. But that does not make much of a difference if the bat, like the battery is not com conducive to the amount of power that it's going to draw from it. So will the battery still be a problem? Maybe. Because the new processors, like they said, the M50 could get 85 minutes uh, worth of time frame. Um you know, as far as on the, this battery, I've been able to get two and a half hours on a regular Canon battery shooting 1080p video. So I don't know what they tested that stuff in. So it kind of depends. And like we saw, I think with the Sony 6400, A6400, it's going to be a little bit better because the processor is better. Is it going to be fantastic? Probably not. Those are little batteries still. But at the same time, maybe it's an APS-C battery, not battery, but camera. And maybe it's really not full frame. Or maybe they just really dialed it in and took enough stuff out <laughs> that like Canon usually does that it won't take up a whole bunch of power anyway. So here's to waiting to see. So and it doesn't have a joystick, but I don't think uh, as entry level as they are making this, that it makes the difference. The one thing that I am hopeful for, though, uh, Richard, is that they're saying they're supposed to like I get tired of Canon. It's like you know, Santa Claus, you know, supposed to come down the chimney and Santa Claus never comes. You just see mom and daddy wrapping your presents up. This is what this feels like <laughs> with Canon. But what I think and I'm hoping is that this is a super, super basic entry level full frame. Fine. Get this out your system. The R, I don't know how you get less than the R, but they did it. 
And then hopefully they do something like the R. I don't even know. I don't even know because the R is a stupid name for a lineup anyway. But I digress. I don't know. What's a cool name? Who knows? I don't know. Something better than the R. Something R. Z. Who knows? Something better than the R that maybe will have a joystick. And maybe Lord willing will give all the good stuff that everybody's looking forward to. So (laughs) we will see. Uh, so Ricky, you're saying no need, no, I need to make prints. Oh, um, I think you'll be fine then. If you're like printing like a 26 megapixel camera should be fine to a certain extent. I mean, you got to consider that iPhone did their, um, campaign, the shot on iPhone campaign. They put stuff from a phone on a billboard. So I think you can stretch whatever you need to stretch as far as that's concerned in my humble opinion. Uh, or Ernesto Pacheco, nice to meet you, sir. Good to see you. Said I actually have the SL2, and the same cap uh, question after watching the M50 with the speed booster. I am tr- uh, trying to sell my SL2 for the M50. All the extra focus points, the 4K, even if it's limited and 720p. Oh yeah, it's like, was it like nine or something focusing auto focusing points? on the SL2 in like 90 ish or more <laughs> or something, something about that, that range on the uh, M50. Only thing why I don't think that that kind of, kind of loosely saying kind of matters when it comes to the SL2 or the M50, as far as autofocus, because it's all still dual pixel autofocus. It's still phase detection autofocus and it's still okay. As far as the 4K and the speed booster, that's one of the reasons, honestly. I would love to get this new RP camera simply because, one, I'll get access to the full frame stuff. Something that else that's kind of being rumored is that maybe it'll have a clean HDMI out. So I won't need the extra software to stream from the M50 like I'm doing right now. And maybe, so that's one less something. This The micro program that I use to siphon from the camera doesn't take up anything on the camera. So that's not a hindrance to me. Uh, Maybe it'll have that. Maybe it'll have a headphone jack. But for the crop that I know that they're probably going to put in 4K video, which is like a 1.7-ish type crop, maybe, that's almost what I get with a speed booster on the M50. Lenses are cheap. Access to every other lens that Canon already has. And I'm not really missing out on anything that I wouldn't get already just using an audio recorder with the video work that I would do and probably still use anyway. So I kind of like, I probably will get another M50 myself, honestly, over this full frame camera simply because it still doesn't beat it. Cause I like, I literally hacked the crap <laughs> out of this M50. So that's my thought. I think it's cool though. You can find, I'm saying a B and H photo video. If you're familiar with them, I've tried. That's where I got mine from actually their use section check there. It's, it's legit and you can probably get a used one at a really good price as far as the M50 and sell back your equipment. It's not the same as if you sold it like on eBay yourself, but it's not bad though either. And they give you better credit towards a new purchase than if you just wanted money for it. So that's an option. Uh, but <clears throat> Ernesto, you saying I'm, I'm about both video and photo. I don't pull towards one or the other uh, alone. Gotcha. That's cool. Pretty, pretty cool. Lindsay Murphy, thank you for coming back. You said, hooray, I made it. I know, I'm so glad that you guys are here. I felt so bad. Like, like YouTube would not let me be great. It didn't want me to win, but we persevered nonetheless. And I drank about half my coffee in all nervousness. <laughs> but I'm glad that you are here. Uh, and Rob Fuss says, thank you, my, my pleasure. He said, I was excited to see you go live. I try to go live just about uh, every single week. Um, I took some time off so I was getting fatigued and tired, so I needed to get some rest. So, uh, this new camera release, I always keep up on these rumors. So I was excited to discuss it. And Ricky, you're saying, thanks. My pleasure, sir. My pleasure. Uh, Ernesto Pacheco said the LPE 17 is the same SL2 and it's a decent battery. Yep. True. So, um, like I said, I had that one. I got some third party batteries from Oa Prota. And I reviewed those batteries, so I'm correct. I'll link that up in the YouTube card up above after the stream is over uh, to talk about that. 
uh, or if you want to link and see what those are like. Because I think I got about the same runtime, about two and a half hours on the M6, which honestly is more unlocked than the M50. But I mean, what they say the camera can do and then what you actually can do yourself, it, it varies. Oh, one other thing that they're saying, and here's one like, so help me, Lord have mercy, my heart is racing, I'm excited. <laughs> and so they said it may have USB-C charging in the camera while it's on. There, That might be the saving grace because I'm telling you when I got, like I'm using the external battery thing with the dummy adapter right now so I can stream for as long as I want to. I can literally stream for like over two hours, don't have to run into any issues with the M50. And I have like this uh, portable one that I can use with a battery bank. So that gives me unlimited power. But this camera, this EOS RP that's supposed to come out is saying that it'll have USB-C and you can charge it while it's on and use it. If that's the case, it may just have enough of the stuff to kind of be worth it, like an extra $500 after they drop it. Cause it's going to be 1300 maybe when it releases. And then they knock the price down a couple hundred dollars several months later or whatever. So let's say by June ish, 2019, we're looking at we're looking at a nine hundred dollars to eleven hundred dollar camera. It's about what the M fifty cost when it first came out. So would it be worth that? I think it might be. It might be. So Lord willing, <laughs> we'll be able to bypass that battery um, issue if it has rechargeable. If we'll see in a couple days. Uh, Robin Mort, uh, uh, Robin M. I I have lost hope in trying to pronounce. You got to help me out. <laughs> Um, you said, I'm watching with the wife. Hello, Mrs. Mortis. What's hello, Mrs. M. <laughs> Good to see you. <laughs> Glad that you are here. Uh, you said, uh, sorry for bunching a lot uh, of, uh, a lot on one post limited on characters. You are just fine. I can read them just fine. I have my handy dandy glasses on, so at least I can read it. <laughs> so, uh, to sign Caldwell, hope I pronounced that well. Hope I pronounced that correctly. So welcome to the stream. Glad that you are here. Said any updated news on Canon's rumored speed booster for the M series line? It's quiet. Um, it's been some other than that they have been developing lenses and that they have some new patents that have released for new lenses that are supposed to be coming out. I would hope that maybe on, I don't even know what day it is. So <laughs> in three days, so let's just say that. In three days, February 14th, when it's supposed to release this new full frame camera, maybe we'll hear something about the lenses. Maybe they'll drop it all at once. I hope that's all I can hope. And it's some like events and stuff like that coming up that I hope that they will announce it then, which is like at the end of the month, I think. So, no, we don't know what they're going to do with it, with it. But I don't doubt that it'll be any better than the Viltrox speed booster that I'm using right now. Uh, so I don't know. And then one thing that Canon did with their adapters that I didn't like is that when you put like a lens that could go on like the Canon 80D or the 70D, their crop sensor cameras, DSLR cameras. Um, when you put those lenses on like the Canon R with their adapter that they made, it, re it, it keeps you from doing certain like video functions and photography functions. Like it just doesn't let you access it on purpose. And so that's the only reason why I would continue to use like the Viltrox one or like other th third party companies, because it's like, why are you doing that? Like you already take stuff out the camera. Like, why are you doing that? Leave stuff alone. <laughs> it's like when your mom tell you, go sit down, you messing with stuff, go sit down. That's, that's kind of where it is with Canon. So uh, I haven't heard anything about the speed booster more than that. They have started working on it, but I don't know. We'll, we'll see. We'll see. So, uh, Rob, you said the charging perk will make it worth it. I hope so. Let's say headphone jack, USB-C charging. USB is a faster port anyway than the regular USB a ports that they've been using. Um, HDMI, maybe to have like a HDMI micro, which is like the medium size one, HD clean HDMI out. And 
I know it's probably going to have a crop in 4K. Probably the autofocus still probably won't work <laughs> it like the M50. Like you got to do some hacks and stuff with it. So that's probably still going to be a thing. But it's like for the price and then to be able to have access to those new line of lenses that will be coming out for the next probably 100 years or, or so, if, you know, or until technology shifts again. Who knows? You know, I, and that's the one thing uh, that I think is to consider to know what the lenses they're producing right now. But they're getting like they have five other lenses about to come out. So it very well could be could be worth it. So um what did I say? Tassan Caldwell said it's it's like Nissan except Oh, T Sign. Okay, T Sign. Great. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. Uh, but close enough. <laughs> Glad to be here. Learned a lot with the M fifty from you. So thank you. Oh my pleasure, T Sign. And and thank you so much for telling me how to pronounce your name. I really appreciate that because I hate to screw up people's name, uh, even though I do it frequently, but I always try. I Google it and like how do I say it? But T Sign, thank you. So I'm glad that you learned a lot uh, through the series. I hope to continue to bring more value uh, around that camera. And, you know, if something new comes out with it or whatever the case is, keep you guys abreast. So appreciate you guys for being here. So Monster Raiders Gaming said, hello, nice to see you back. Thank you. Glad that you're here. Glad to be back. <laughs> so Sam Mystery, uh, I want to buy a zoom lens for the M50. Give me suggestions for that. Well, what do you want to do with it? <laughs> you know, like the, it's honestly the kit lens is a zoom. So, you know, it's like, what exactly are you trying to accomplish? Um, because if it's video, then stuff like the lens being quiet or wide or having like a blurry background, like I have right now would be important. If it's for photography based stuff, then maybe a different type of focal length, like a 70 to 200 type lens, like super long, focal length would be important. So without knowing specifically what you're into, then I wouldn't know if you're into video. Um, is Again, I need details. Is it for vlogging, locked off video shots like this? Like some, I need some more details to kind of be able to give some more uh, or better suggestions. Oh, and price range. So if you got a price range, let me know. Um, Monster Raiders Game is saying, you have to be able to work with the limitations of choice uh, if and whatever gear you decide to get, absolutely. And that's the thing with the M50. Because I'm like, how good can I make this super budget-friendly camera that you literally can put in just about any arena and have it perform well? So, like, I'm creating videos for home-based business entrepreneurs. Uh, maybe you are starting a, a nonprofit. Uh, met a gentleman today online that is running for some kind of local political position. And I'm looking at the quality of his videos, I'm looking at the quality of a, a network marketing uh, professional coach. I'm looking at her channel, you know, over a hundred something subscribers, close to 200 something subscribers. And I'm looking at stuff like the audio. So she's probably using the DSLR. Like I look at all of those little things, like who could best benefit from what we're using? So a, Canon, a camera like the Canon RP that will have good preamps so you can plug in a microphone and it works great or, you know, you could go vlog with it and it's going to be super light. So it'll work great for a church or a local nonprofit organization. And you want to showcase the building of a new house in the community that the college is doing. Like, can they do that? You know, can you pick up this camera and use it and then be able to pull pro stuff out of it, too? So, yeah, we definitely have to work within the limitations, but it wouldn't hurt. Gosh, darn you, Canon, it wouldn't hurt <laughs> just to give us more of what you got. Just go for the gold. It's like watching the Olympics and you watching your your country run with their shoes untied almost on purpose. <laughs> it's like, what are you doing? Tie your shoes up. Good grief. You're embarrassing the family. My goodness. So, <laughs> Lindsay, uh, you're saying... Uh, after seeing the Wasabi dual batteries and charger you shared, I went ahead and bought it as well. I'm so pumped to have the spare bar battery so I don't get stalled mid recording. <laughs> oh boy, it is nothing more nervous except trying to get your key in the door when you have to use the restroom. That's very nerve wracking that I think every adult experiences. But 
like when you see that red dot flashing that your battery is about to die, you never talked so fast before in your life. <laughs> so it definitely is a comfort to know that that's like out of the way. And then I like being able to have those like chargers so that you can swap one out, put one on the charger and you just able to continuously go. So I love that. So especially if you're doing like, you just want to make sure you got plenty of battery life. Then I love that. Uh, Richard Jackson, you said, I, I saw it may have eye autofocus. Yeah. But with a question mark, you like, that's the thing with Canon. Like I don't trust them. We have trust issues. Me and Canon. It's like, yeah, so does the M50 have eye autofocus, but it doesn't work in like video. Like I see a box around my, my face right now, but there's no eye symbol. It's only in photography mode. And then the photo, like it's going to do five frames a second, this new camera. So it's like, how great is that going to be? It's like, you, I don't know. Maybe I'm just, am I complaining? Am I whining? Allegedly, we'll see. But I hope it has good eye autofocus. I hope it does something like I want to be wild by Canon, but I just don't know. I just don't know, guys. Like, you let me know. Am I overreacting? I get all giddy about these rumors. Like I said, it's like Santa Claus coming. And then you, you, you're like, man, Santa Claus is coming. Quick story. And then I'll get back to the comments. I remember when I was a kid. And, like, I, re like I you know, it's like you kind of think there's no such thing as Santa Claus. But then, like, reality is, is just checking boxes off to say that it's not real. So we used to have a heater. Our, you know, chimney was closed and we used to have a heater in front of it. And it was a gas one. And I'm like, well, how is he going to get down the chimney to get these milk and cookies if it's closed off? I was too logical of a child. And that's how I feel with Kenny. It's just like, let's just pick the names out the hat. I know it's no such thing as Santa Claus because the guy you had to come to the elementary school was too skinny and he was super dark skinned. So I just know it didn't match up. So... <laughs> <laughs> I, I can, that's how I feel <laughs> with Canon. We got trust issues. We got trust issues. So the Joshua Verwers, welcome to the stream. I'm so glad that you are here. You said, woohoo, I made it. I'm hearing uh, it has eye autofocus. Uh, will that work or help in 4K? The only thing that we can hope that will make 4K work better is if it has the phase detection autofocus like the dual pixel autofocused on it's like if there's an on and off switch they turned it off for the 4k video and we just need them to turn it on like if they just legit flick the switch hashtag flip the switch canon for 4k video then we're going to be great the thing that makes me worrisome and i'm saying this to a pastor do not grow weary in well-doing so <laughs> the thing that makes me uh, cautious with Canon is that it's close enough like the the M50 launched at almost a thousand dollars this camera is going to launch potentially at about thirteen hundred dollars it's not a steep enough distance in 4k between like the M50 and the EOS R to say that it may have that 4k turned on I don't have high hopes that Canon will do it so we probably are still going to run into the same issue, but we'll know in three days. We will know in three days. <laughs> uh, Rob Fuzz, you said you, you're pretty awesome. Great find today. I know. I'm so glad that I met you uh, on Eileen's channel. I'm so thankful to have you part of the community. So super pumped that you are here. Uh, it said, I am so torn on what camera to get next. Uh, I have some pro full frame Nikons and a Canon uh, G7X. You know, <laughs> I had to settle within myself that I, despite all the crap, I like Canon. I like a flip screen. I like the cheap lenses, the cheap but fantastic quality lenses. So price-wise, it's cheap, but even a budget lens like this, an $80 lens that you guys are looking at right now, produces inc incredible video quality So and, and looks amazing photography-wise. Um, I enjoy that. I can find whatever I want to within my price range and I like it. Um, I can make it as simple as I want to and pull as much pro stuff out of it just as, just about as much as I want to. So I think you just kind of got it. Like if you're used to Nikon, I'd be hard pressed not to try a Nikon Z6. If the flip screen matters for you, 
then there's not a whole lot of other options that give you the the basics unless it's canon that's just you know how i kind of feel so even though i had the jd5 hand over fist is a better camera than the r hand over fist a better camera than the rp will probably be and hand over fist a better camera than the m50 ever could be and it still just didn't meet those basic requirements the best like it was still nervous in in the autofocus and you know it's just like the colors look amazing i love my little golden look that i do for the live streams that's just straight out of camera no filters no nothing so i don't know try something out go to the camera store try something out like get something in your hands especially if you've had a nikon camera before try something in your hand um if you used to the canon g7x you used to the menu systems it's just like expect that same simplicity with more features in any other canon mirrorless camera or dslr type something so just try something I said, I want to get a 4K camcorder too. No comment. <laughs> no com. Like, I don't know. I'm not a camcorder person. I like the interchangeable lenses, so I can't really comment on that. I've only used one like a long time ago in like high school, so I don't know. <laughs> so uh, Monster Raiders gave me saying, working within those limits can make you better in techniques. Uh, for when you do save up and get better gear, you are absolutely correct. Because if you need to do something, you still need to do something no matter what gear that you have. And you really don't have enough time to order something new and learn it. And I think that's the biggest thing with as simple as, 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 as time goes on, the simpler the camera is, the easier it is for me to focus and do what I need to do. Like I was saying, I did that Christmas program for my church, all manual focus, four different cameras, all manual focus. I'm running around like a chicken with its head cut off, keeping track of, you know, this is camera's going to go off in 30 minutes. This camera's recording unlimited. I don't have to worry about it. The Panasonic cameras that I had. And then, uh, how long is the battery light, light, uh, length going to be, um, what do I need to change? And then they start cutting the lights on and off for different scenes, which I didn't get told about, which I never saw in any rehearsals. And so I'm like, crap, that changes things. <laughs> so it makes a difference to know your gear forwards and backwards. And that's the one thing why I love Canon so much because I know it forwards and backwards. It's simple enough that I can get whatever I need done in a, in a minute, like less than a minute, like in seconds. So that's absolutely correct. So, uh, Joshua Burry saying any tips, uh, of ideas on how to break the 30 minute recording limit on the M50. Um, so right now I'm at 37 minutes, no blackouts, no issues. I've gone for over two hours before no blackouts, no issues. If you, well, you have a PC. I'm so sorry. No, I'm just, <laughs> so, <laughs> um, I've been trying to figure out a way for the PC users. Um, that's something simple like this Ecamm live that I use versus um you know just something better something well something like it for pcs i've been trying out streamyard a program card called, called streamyard um and it works with pcs but you would still run into the issue of um the unlimited thing um i also tried some other programs recently on a, on my pc I'm still trying to figure that out. Mac users, you're in for it. It's called Ecamm Live. And they just added a virtual camera feature where I could go live on any other platform. And it has like what's called like a virtual camera. And it'll pick up the signal from this camera. And I can use it on my computer. That's the only way that I know to get around that 30-minute recording limit. Um, like I said, if you're a PC user, you have to use some uh, program. I'm trying to think of what one was called, but you have to pay for that. It's like either way, you're going to have to pay for something just about without having software on top of software on top of software to work. Uh, you're going to have to pay for some kind of siphoning software that can pull the feed from the camera into the computer and then show that to whatever broadcasting software. And that's essentially like what Ecamm Live does, but just in a very simple format. I don't know. Mr. Verwer, sir, 
We're going to have to get you a Mac. That's, that's the only way. And then Ecamm Live is about to change their pricing. So if you plan to get it, I think I can get you guys a, a deal. Um, so I'll drop an affiliate link down in the comments after the stream is over for StreamYard and for Ecamm Live. Try to get you a deal. But Ecamm is about to change stuff. Right now it's $79 for this program. It's about to go to, I think, a subscription service. So in a two or three month time frame, you'll be then more than paid for the program. Like it's about to become a monthly thing. But if you already have it, then your grandfather then it won't change. So I don't, I, I'm going to have to find something for the PCUs because it's been bugging me. And I'm sorry, I don't have an answer right now, but I'm trying. So Monster Raiders Gaming said for Canon, there is nothing right now uh, for the Canon M50. Um, yeah, it is called Ecamm Live. <laughs> Camera live and Ecamm live, doing it right now. We've been going for 40 minutes. Otherwise, if I was using like the Elgato Cam Link, we would have been out of there. Go look at some previous streams from a couple months ago. I was flicking, unplugging stuff constantly, just one camera to the other camera, one camera to, it just was crazy. So, <laughs> so uh, Rob Fuzz, you're saying, how do you hook your camera up to your Mac to stream? I did a video on that, and I'll link that up above after the, thing so <laughs> uh i i use a program called ecamm live and camera live what camera live does it's like a micro program all of this is mac based though and it only works on mac and i maybe one day they'll be able to do pc but right now it's developed for mac only um if the camera live program using the usb cord is able to get the data from the camera so it can see it Every 30 minutes or something, it sends like whatever signal to it to say, don't go to sleep. And the camera just listens. That's the easiest way I can describe it. <laughs> From there, um, Ecamm Live is able to read the feed coming out of the camera so that I can use it. So I can use my Viltrox speed bo booster and my nice little lens here and get this wonderful living my life like, like it's golden look. <laughs> and it just works. Once I saw that this was possible, this is the main reason I got a Mac. And then I found like other programs that just work well, you know, to switch from PC. I haven't used my, my PC in months except to try to find a similar solution for PC users. And I think it's gonna consist of StreamYard as one component um, so that you can get like the chat boxes up on the screen. I've been testing it out, I haven't showed you guys yet, but as soon as I feel comfortable with a solution that's easy and simple, but gives you pro quality, then I'll be able to share it with you guys. So you saying uh, it looks great. Thank you so much. Appreciate that. Um, so Joshua Burr said completely off topic. What is your lighting setup? Uh, video lighting and eyeglasses uh, can be fun. So you're getting all my secrets, secrets, Joshua Burr. <laughs> so give me one second. I need a sip of coffee. And unfortunately, I don't have a bougie coffee machine like Joshua Verwers, but we, we make do. <laughs> so, um, lighting setup, softbox here and one here. And I changed the light bulb in the ceiling. And this, this is a regular secondary bedroom, nothing special. I just changed the light bulb to match what these lights are. This is, uh, I don't even remember. <laughs> what are these lights called again? Golly, caught me off guard. So I link it down below. It's in the description. That's always there. So I, I, I can't think of what it's called right now, but these are just two basic uh, softbox lights. It is 60 bucks on Amazon. Uh, like I said, for whatever reason, Limo Studios, my goodness. So the Limo Studios softbox light kit. So I just changed it. I bought from the hardware store, whatever light temperature that these were so they're all the same only thing that's different is the one in the back behind me um which is just to kind of light that sign up and just kind of give the little golden light temperature light temperature look but these daylight temperature bulbs is only one of them it's 60 dollars for the two of them and then y'all want to know my secret put hashtag tell me Hashtag tell me if you want to know the secret of how I get this without glares on the glasses and all that. I'm not going to wait. But so <laughs> what I do is just take some, uh, what do you call it? 
just a roll of paper that you get at the craft store, some white paper. And on top of the diffusion paper, I just took some paper clips and I clamped it. Because if you wear glasses and you have light pointing at you, you get those white balls shining on your, your glasses. Trade secrets right now. I put a piece of paper up. So that's it. My buddy was telling me about how to get, you know, these other lights that are like $200 a piece. And I'm just like, yeah, I'm not doing that. We're going to get this paper. And we going <laughs> to put this paper on <laughs> these lights and get the same daggone look. And when I go and I do a shoot, and if it's too strong, I put this paper with these paper clips over the diffused light, sh the diffused sheet. That's what I do. That's how I avoid. Uh, I can have the lights as close as I want and you will never see a glare in my glasses. So you just learned my secret. <laughs> uh, so uh, moving on. Nicole Dre, I think. Scup, good to see you. Oh, you saying exit. So you good. I'm glad you can help with that. All right. And then we're going to uh, wrap this up in just a minute, guys. So I'm going to run through these comments. Uh, Monster Raiders Gaming is saying, with this new camera, uh, I think it will be better for what I want and need. You do not have to get those new RF lenses. You can get the EF lenses with the basic adapter for 100 bucks. Very true. Again, the only thing is that when you put those lenses, like if it's going to function the same way the EOS R is, um, Excuse me. If it's going to function the same way the EOS R is, for whatever reason, they, they limit the features that you can use. I don't think it'll be a problem for video, for real, but it's like if I can still get that exact same crop factor and still all my features with the Viltrox Speed Booster, I still get access to all the other lenses because I'm not buying those RF uh, lenses anyway either. So <laughs> that's the only thing. Like I think I still, I'm still going to get an, another M50. But I think it will work for a lot of people. So I hope it does work for you. Um, so Rob Fuzzy saying, I love Ecamm Live. Well, my brother, brother, I'm telling you. Ecamm Live is the bee's knees. It, that's the, this the bee's knees. And so Joshua Verse said, I can stream all right using uh, Streamlabs OBS uh, using the EOS utility. Okay. Mm, only thing is like trying to find a program that will like the camera live does and it sends that signal at about every 30 minutes you never see it or experience a difference in it but every 30 minutes it's basically signaling to the camera to wake up and not go to sleep so even though you can like capture the screen of the eos utility and all of that if if i'm thinking of how you're doing it which is capturing the screen when you are looking at the view of the eos utility it's still gonna go to sleep in 30 minutes so that's the that's the difference between like the camera live program and like just capturing the screen of when it's plugged in that way that's the only difference so uh oh you guys are talking about it you paid 40 dollars for ecamm how i need to know hey 40 dollars i think i got it for a discount too that's why i'm tripping <laughs> Uh, I'll send that out in the email community tomorrow because I do need to let you guys know. So, so yeah, if I'm remembering correctly. So, yeah, 40 bucks still. I don't know if I got it for that good of a price, but that's awesome. <laughs> so, Joshua Burr, you said, about, where were Joshua Burr, where you were saying, uh, I was looking for some way to record my entire sermon without lugging around my laptop laptop or having uh Having preach shorter, <laughs> having to, having to preach a shorter message. Um, hmm. The only thing that I could think to do. No laptop involved, longer ones. You still would do your thirty minutes, but maybe use the the Wi Fi on the camera or at least like the Bluetooth, because it naturally in sermons you're taking a pause or just in any long form teaching you're taking a pause in between stuff or you're going to the scripture like you can clearly see it's like 25 minutes you can literally hit start stop or stop start start it again um i did this in a bible study that i was recording and i'm just sitting in my normal seat got the tripod wherever it's going to be and i just look at my phone stop start keep going 
So if you can be cognizant of that without losing the word, <laughs> that's the option, Wi-Fi app. It'll just show you the counter on there or the screen or whatever. Start, stop. Battery life, uh, you'll be fine, I think. You know, as long as you, once you start getting like the two-hour mark uh, on the battery life, because I can stream with all of this get up for two hours and then the battery's going to die. So in a one hour sermon or so, or even like an hour 20, you're, you should be fine on batteries, Canon branded batteries. So try the app. Rob Fuzzy saying, I have a MacBook Pro and Ecamm Live, but how does it hook in? I did a video on that, my friend. I'll have to link that up above after the stream, but um, yeah. You have a MacBook and Ecamm Live, how does it hook in? Like for the camera, it's just like a USB option. So yeah, I'll link that in. It's one way to do it with the HDMI, another way to do it with the USB. So look for the video for the USB. Even if you don't come back to the stream, just go to the, my channel, type in the search bar USB and it'll, or Canon M50 USB, it'll come up. But it's within that M50 series that I did. Um, uh, Joshua Verge said, I've been looking for some way to record my entire sermon. Oh, you already went through that. Sorry. I just, <laughs> some ha ha bougie coffee. Oh, it is. It is. Uh, I, I know you're not supposed to be envious, but I was. I was. An espresso machine. You got the cups floating around. Y'all want to see some good edited, like well professionally edited videos with the M50? Check out Joshua Verge's channel. Incredible. Incredible. He's just like vlogs and stuff like that, encouraging, encouraging you through faith and embarrassing, embarrassingly good. It's so good. It's so good. I don't even know how to say I was watching your video that you released today. Just so good. Just really well done. So I love it. Uh, some, some hashtag tell me. <laughs> so y'all <yeah>, actually did <laughs> hashtag tell me. Cool. So, so, so glad about that. Oh, guys. We crossed a thousand subscribers. Woo! I haven't done the video about the giveaway yet, but I want to be doing like a little M50 kind of giveaway care package ish. I'm thinking about throwing a microphone in there and maybe some other stuff. If you have any ideas, you can let me know what you guys want. Um, I do have a, like a little finance series coming up as well, like credit and stuff since it's tax time in the US. Some things around that. So just a couple videos on that. But I do want to do a giveaway for the M50. I'm thinking about throwing. Um, probably the Movo shotgun microphone in there, or maybe the pop voice, pop voice or the purple panda microphone and maybe some other stuff. So I may, uh, throw this up, but I want to do something, something nice for crossing a thousand subscribers and the super chat feature did come on. So if you enjoy doing super chats, love the work that I do here, you can drop those coins in the chat and then it highlights your question, even though I'll get to them all of, but I enjoyed it, the fact that it's just on, but you won't see ads still rolling on the channel. So that's the only thing is like super chats are available. But other than that, we crossed a thousand. So I'm so glad. Thank you, everybody that subscribed. Warms my heart. And so just really glad uh, to hit that milestone and that goal uh, in the month of January. So appreciate you guys so much. So uh, Nicodre is saying, if it's just to record the sermon, a camcorder, DC plug should work. Yeah, but he already invested in the uh, M50 and a large memory card. <laughs> and so some hashtag trade secrets. That's awesome. You'll have to show me a pic of that sometime. Okay. <laughs> I'll just say okay. <laughs> but yeah. Um, mm -hmm. I think I did. A, I know I did a video showing how to connect to the Wi-Fi app but I can definitely screenshot you some images of like what that would look like. So I'll send that, send that to you on Instagram. Uh, said trying to find the camera live program. Any help? Okie dokie. Just going to put me to work in the stream, huh? Put me to work. All right. So let me jump over to the channel and I will grab that link for you in uno momento, por favor. So one second here, guys. So the camera live program, it looks, what is that? Um, I can't think what that thing is called. 
but here let me share my screen with you guys and I shall be able to show you okay so here on it's not this one so this is the one that will use the Elgato cam link but the one that says where you can still get the autofocus no HDMI in the Elgato this is the one that I was talking about using Ecamm Live and so when you come here to this video and hopefully that sound doesn't kick on but ooh, ooh, poor little camera just working her heart out, heart out. And so I'll mute that and hopefully that doesn't play all right so in the description here you'll be able to see uh, this software so github that's what it was so when you come here um, it'll be this particular link that'll give you the whole thing and copy link address and I will drop drop that uh, in the chat but that's how you um, get the actual program um, let me find my chat box again holy macro louise got a super chat from joshua verwers holy macro guys this is my first super chat i got called my mama until i got a super chat no just kidding <laughs> let me find this what did i do with this chat box here so let me drop that in there uh if i can drop that link but yeah it's not letting me copy the link for whatever reason uh, copy link address and I'll try it one more time yeah it's not letting me drop the link in the chat I may have the blocks on or whatever but check that out there but that's the link let me see if I can at least get the link to the video ease the issue here okay so there you go there is the link to the actual uh, video and you can check that out there but holy mackerel, Louise, we got us a super chat from the official, the Joshua Verri said, you are way too kind and such a huge blessing. Thanks for all your help. And I was thinking a pic uh, of your like, of your light. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. Uh, gosh, I wish I had the webcam still hooked up. I could show you it, but, but thanks so much. I really appreciate that. Super, super pumped to have that. Thank you so much. Uh, all righty. Let me get to these questions because I do want to make sure I honor the questions that you guys have. And we are a few minutes out from seven, 57 minutes, a few minutes out from one hour. Hmm. It's a good thumbnail pose right here. <laughs> uh, okay. So I dropped the, the video link in there. So it's the one where it says like build nine. That's the one for camera live. Um, that'll download it for you. Um, it's real simple, real small program. Uh, only thing that I would say is that plug the USB cord into the camera, start the camera live, then plug it in to the USB. If for whatever reason it doesn't turn to active, just unplug it from the computer, plug it back in. Um, usually it works on the second time for whatever reason, or at least on my little old Mac. But then start Ecamm Live, you're good to go. So camera first, then computer, start the program. Doesn't work, plug it back in, <laughs> unplug it and plug it back in. Like all customer service reps tell everybody to solve their problems. And then <laughs> start Ecamm Live and that'll work for you. So uh, you're saying Rob Fuzz, when it uh, first came out, Ecamm Live was, I know. You said I had a coupon to get it. It was like $30. It was $29 for the longest. I was being so cheap. I was being so cheap. And then I was just like, by the time I went and got a Mac, it came back a couple minutes later, it's like $79. But thankfully, I run a business and it's tax deductible. So I was able to write that off. So, <laughs> so yeah. Uh, Joshua Burris, you're saying Wi-Fi, that might just work. Yeah, that's the only thing. Even if, like, I, um, if I'm doing a talk, like, 
at church or something or I haven't done any local talks yet this year. But um, yeah, I'll just hook up the app. Um, well, like I said, when I was recording the Bible study and I wanted to take notes and I still needed to record. Um, that's all I did. Use the app. As long as you got a good charge on your phone. Um, and now, like I found a good, you know, whether it's a USB battery bank power adapter deal or a wall charger deal, have unlimited battery power without any any problems whatsoever. I literally and on purpose, accidentally on purpose, left the camera hooked up, turned off and still hooked into the wall for almost a week now. Zero problems. Turn it back on. No problems. So I'm like stress testing the crap out of these power adapters and it's holding up without any problems. So you have that too if if, uh, if you ever decide to do a longer talk. So Rob Fuzz said, I lied. I looked it up. I got the package. Call recorder for Skype, Ecamm Live, $59. Not bad though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not bad. Not bad. 60 bucks. How to use the Canon M50 as a webcam. He said, congrats on 1K. Thank you so much. I am so pumped. I am so, so pumped so much just so much joy with with hitting that goal uh so yeah so some okay thank you my pleasure my pleasure and you're saying you got the link perfect all right guys well uh, canon rp we'll see what she does how well she works um goodness i just i don't know will it be the santa claus faking the funk in the mall or will it be the real deal I hope they, you know, headphone jack, USB-C battery charging thing, clean HDMI out, you know, LPE 17, still not bad, uh, not a bad battery, you know, hopefully, <sighs> can it just do the right thing? That's, that's what I said about the, when the M50 can't just do the right thing. Only thing that I think will run into an issue with the 4K, it'll probably still be cropped, still won't have good autofocus, and if that's the case... I'm not going to get it (laughs) like I can just get another M50. I have, you know, a speed booster and adapter and I can adapt lenses and stuff. I already found a way to get unlimited streams, you know, do the auto focusing thing during the live stream. It comes right back. Beautiful, blurry, bocalicious background, non bougie coffee. How much, how much, much better could life be? (laughs) And so I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the stream again. Thank you, Mr. Joshua Burris, for the super chat. Warms my heart. It truly does. If you guys want to see like incredible editing, see what the Canon M50 can do. Like go and watch his Vlogmas series. I love it. I watch it over and over again just for no reason. I don't even know. I just love it. <laughs> so I hope that you guys enjoyed today's stream. Let me know if you're watching it live on the replay. Would you consider getting the Canon RP? So let me know down in the description down below. But as always, guys, live with passion. I will see you on the next video.